Hello friends, this is Durga from ITVarsity um, and as part of this video we will continue setting up Scala. Uh, earlier we have set up Scala um, uh, and we validated using command line. Now we will get into the Scala IDE. There are two popular IDE, uh, IDEs which stands for Integrated Development Environment. Uh, one is Eclipse and the other one is IntelliJ. As I have mentioned to you earlier, um, Scala is JVM based programming language and most of the concepts behind setting up the environment is similar to Java. So as part of this video, I will primarily focus on setting up IntelliJ with Scala plugin. What you have to do is go to the Scala download page. You can Google it, Scala download. Okay, and you, re you remember that you chose 2.11.8 for uh, downloading Scala earlier. You don't need to change the version here to download IntelliJ. In all the pages, you will see this IntelliJ idea with the Scala plugin. You can click on this and it will take you to this page. And if you click on download, it will show you two options. One is ultimate, which is a licensed version after 30 day free trial. And the other one is community edition. So I will be downloading community edition, whether you are using Mac or Windows or Linux. Um, the steps are almost same. Only thing is if you are using Windows, it will automatically uh, select Windows.exe. With Mac, it, it have chosen .dmg. With Linux, um, it will choose tar, tar gz file. So if you use Linux, you have to download this tar gz file, unzip it, untar it, and then you have to set up uh, uh, environment variables and then you will be able to launch the IntelliJ. Okay. With Mac, you just have to uh, install using uh, DMG which is a packaging tool similar to Windows MSI or Windows EXE or for Windows you can use Windows.exe. So between ultimate and trial, there is only one minor difference in the setup process. I will highlight when the time comes. Here you can choose either of them and I am choosing the free version as I am using Mac, I am using, uh, I am downloading DMG. So it is 399 MB file and it will take some time to download. Until then I will pause this. So the download is almost done. Let me start the installation process once it complete the download. Now I just have to double click this one. With Windows and uh, Mac, the screens might be a little bit different, but the concepts are same, so you don't need to worry too much about it. Now it is opening up the DMG. So you can do the typical installation, whatever instructions it uh, tell you, you just follow uh, whether it is Windows or Mac. And then I moved that into the applications folder and then I will see the IntelliJ IDEA CE as part of this and I just have to open that to complete the installation process. It's almost done. Now you see, you just have to double click on this. The installation is already done. We just have to set up the Scala plugin. So even though we download, we clicked on the link uh, which says IntelliJ with Scala plugin, it will not be available immediately. Okay, so you just have to click on this and uh, Um, I, I used to have the version earlier, that's why it has shown that option, otherwise it will, it might show a little bit different window um, as I don't want to import the earlier settings, I just choose some other thing, um, do not import the settings. Now it shows uh, two layouts, one is default and the other one is Darkula, uh, you can choose whatever you want, I uh, will be choosing Darkula, okay, so which will be like this. And if you want to review your key maps, you can uh, go ahead and review the key maps. If you want, you can ignore also. And then click on launch a script. 
and then click on default plugins okay so these are the default plugins which will be available if you see the list there is no scala in this and then next featured plugins you can see scala here you can click on this or you can actually uh, ignore it and uh, uh, take to the uh, set it up later also you can also say skip remaining and set defaults which will take you to the defaults and from there you can set up the you can finish the setup as well so whether you use ultimate edition or uh, 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 community edition the steps are more or less same so here i am clicking on install to install scala and also to install idea vam because i want to use vam type of features uh, to move between the lines copy paste etc and um, that's why i'm actually uh, setting up uh, idea vam uh, which will emulate vam editor if you're not familiar with it just ignore it you don't need to set it up but i'm setting up uh, scala you also could set up scala okay so it is almost done now it is installed and you can say start using intellij okay so this is the latest version of intellij which we have downloaded if you forget to set up scala okay and the way of setting up scala is um, after uh, after downloading intellij if you forget to set up scala and if you do not see the scala option you can click on configure okay go to plugins and then you can search for scala and you can see here okay if you don't see scala here with install option you are, you have to choose browse repositories which will take you to the repositories and it will search for scala in that and from there you can actually install scala so this is the scala which uh, which you can install as it is already downloaded it is not uh, uh, showing up with install option probably otherwise you might see the install option here okay so that, this is how you can uh, set up scala uh, scala plugin as part of intellij as it is already set up i am clicking on okay and it will take us to the same window which uh, which take us to uh, configure that plugin by choosing this now we we are back to here to validate let us start creating a new project and here when we use scala um, we as a programming language we need to use something as a build tool okay with java maven is very popular uh, with scala instead of using maven we should prefer sbt one of the confusing part is here it has chosen java as the main uh, uh, programming language from the project and you can see scala of here lot of guys will start from here choose java and then which is by default and then click on scala and then click on next and create the project which is not the right way to do instead choose the scala and make sure sbt is selected here and then click on next okay again don't go with the default uh, uh, java and choose scala rather choose scala and choose sbt which will make this scala project as sbt project and then click on next and here you have to choose the appropriate versions you have to make sure jdk is 1.8.0_1.8.x sbt make sure it is 0.13 don't choose 1.x at this time it's not uh, stable yet rather use much more popular version which is 0.13.x and then when it comes to scala for all practical purposes choose 2.11.x latest of 2.11 which is 2.11.11 and then give a project name i am saying it as getting started and then click on finish okay okay and then you can see it is actually 
performing some steps here to finish the setup process let us wait until and this entire setup process is done it will take some time for the first time okay now the setup process is almost done you can expand this and see here okay you can choose, uh, go to build.sbt this is the uh, main file and here you can see that um, we have not enabled auto import when we actually set up the project uh, because we did we didn't choose the other options let me show you so after choosing these things after clicking on next and choosing the versions we haven't clicked on more actions okay it is not available here uh, that's fine uh, you can leave these things i thought it will have this auto import uh, there for some reason it is not uh, provided there uh, but once the project is set up you can actually set up auto import by clicking on enable auto import and uh, project is still being refreshed so let us wait until this entire stuff is done so it will take very long time to to download these things depending upon your bandwidth it might take anywhere between 10 minutes to whatever the time it will take so you need to be patient when you actually set this up for the first time from the second run it will cache all those repositories and hence it will be much much faster so now the setup is done you can see everything is clean here and you can zoom in if you want i'm just pressing command and then trying to zoom in okay i will take care of zooming in and all those things later now if you see uh, the uh, the directory structure this is the project name and under that you have source directory and you have main directory and then you have scala here you can right click on this and you can say new uh, if you want to create a package you can create a package if you want to create a uh, scala based program you can click on scala class which we'll see later um, similar to the REPL or uh, Scala command line interface which we have seen as part of the last video if you want to uh, uh, use the similar feature you can choose Scala worksheet give a name to it getting started and the extension will be .sc okay you can choose uh, use ripple mode it's uh, it's still in beta if it is ripple mode you can see that it's similar to the command prompt if you disable this it will be like a regular file print hello world so right now i'm not using ripple mode hence once it actually come to a logical conclusion um, it will automatically um, launch the output screen on the right side and you will see hello world here within a moment for the first time it will take some time to compile again it has to build the project that's why it is taking time Okay, to zoom in, you just have to uh, pinch out in the Mac. It's zooming in. If you pinch in, it will it will zoom out. Okay, now it's it's zoomed in and the characters are a little bit bigger. And now you can see here it actually printed the result as hello world. And if you want to run it in REPL mode, you can choose this one. And then you can say. and you can see it is saying retrieving the REPL instance so it will take some time I think even, even here for the first time and here I am using uh, uh, the VAM uh, uh, plugin that's why I am using shortcuts related to VA editor here to move around 
and now you see the results uh, in the REPL mode okay so this is how you can actually uh, set up Scala and we will see a lot more details uh, uh, going forward uh, we finished the setting up of Scala IDE using IntelliJ with uh, SBT and now we can use SBT to build the project and all those things I will cover uh, those things in detail later that being said I hope you are enjoying the content we will proceed further and uh, continue on uh, creating more and more content um, on these topics. Thank you. Bye.